You know what? In the... Today is my birthday. I'm 57. And the more I think about it, the more I think, my oh God, I don't know how I managed to live this long. But I'm out driving in our, I would say our new car, but it's not, it's our old work car, but it look, looks different without the meter, doesn't it? Um, but she's done 489,177 kilometres and runs, well, I won't say as day as it was new, but you know, it runs beautifully. Um, show you what I mean, I'll turn the fan down. And okay, it's pissing down with rain, but we'll have a listen. I mean, you know, no shakes, no wobbles. You know, did you hear that? Beautiful. Not bad for half a million k's. You've got to remember, as I say, the hot miles, so Curse drives it during the day, I drive at night. And um, invariably it's on the motorway. Going to and from the airport and I potter around town um, when there's not a lot of traffic about in the middle of the night. But I'm on, um, got the night off. I decided I'm not working Saturday and curse to me, we booked a night in the hotel in Hamilton, which is about an hour and a half down the line. And they got a couple of pools down there and a restaurant. Yeah, so we'll just have a night off. Someone else can do the washing up. And there you are. But that ding, 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 by the way, is telling me I've got to put my seatbelt on. But I've never been a big fan of seatbelts. Not since I spoke to a gun. I've spoken to two people who have lost their, their wives. And I mean, I know what the stats are, and I know what everybody tells me, and everyone can jump on their high horse about wearing seatbelts, but I know of two people that have lost their wife through seatbelt injuries. Um... And, okay, you know, you could say it's not going to be, so it might be someone else's fault that I might come off the road, but what can I tell you? I've had two prangs, one of them wasn't my fault, and one went knock for knock, and that's just in the last two and a half years. And I've probably done about 180,000 Ks in the last two and a half years, so there you are. Um... My wife's still in. Kayla's out at work. She's doing a morning stint. And I am going to go inside and drink my McCafe coffee. Libby's been out, haven't you, Lib? Say hello, Lib. <laughs> she loves the cafe. <laughs> well, she's not sure, though. She's used to the camera. Are you saying hello? Are you, Are you saying hello? Oh, you're a good girl. Oh, you're a pretty dog. Yes, you are. And uh, Turbo doesn't like the rain. Go sit down, Lib. Settle down. Go settle. Go settle. Good girl. Good girl. Um, yeah, Turb doesn't like the um, the rain. He didn't want to come out. But Lib's always keen to go out in the car. But she's not happy. <laughs> she's, she's used to the ship box, which is that one there. Right. Okay, then. All for now, folks. Total loop. Uh, oh yeah, I have to remember how to turn it off. I'll tell you one thing though, when you've been used to the, um, the what do you call it, the Holden, you know, it's only two years old, it's got a few more bells and whistles on it, but it almost feels like a come down coming down into a, what's effectively an eight year old car. <laughs> you know, the technology sort of dated. <laughs> Nuts, isn't it? Okay. All right, total it. Oh, well, out of the fan down the overseas, too. Oh, by the way, no one's made any comment on the new testicle, uh, spectacles. <clears throat> Ta-ta.